What is going on everybody and welcome back. We are here on the free to play account to go over our daily or not our daily our weekly update video for the account and What I've done the previous week what my thoughts on going into the next week and My thoughts for the future and some other topics that I want to talk about so very first topic that I want to talk about is yes I know it's a late Tuesday, but again uh, keep it with a week time kind of a thing and I was busy yesterday so ended up doing this today which is fine uh, next time you'll see this will be back on Sundays I will I'm gonna stop doing these like on Mondays and stuff like that or delaying it right I'm, I'm just gonna do it on Sundays. so next update will be this upcoming Sunday so keep an eye out for that now that's the first thing I want to talk about and uh, we'll talk about the other stuff uh, after we do our little update so Let's jump right into how we always do it and check the profile. Um, we are at rank 566. Our power level is sitting at 405,957. Um, from last week or last update, we were at rank 564. So we leveled up twice. And our power level last time was 398,310. So we almost went up 10,000 power level, which is really good. Um, what else? What else? Oh, our link level 10s this week is 196. Um, from last week, it was 189. So I got pretty lucky with them link level 10s, man. Um, I got what? I got seven link level 10 uh, links. Not enough to get a full card, right? It's enough to get a full card, but I didn't get a card all the way up, which is fine. It works perfectly fine, right? So, our friend supporter, I have, you know, Metal Cooler. I could change this, honestly. What's another card people... What's a what's a card people like running? I feel like people like run. Oh, dude, you know who I should actually put? Gohan. No, I'm saying... <laughs> I'm going to put a uh, Fizz Broly because I'm actually working on Fizz Broly and I, I feel like a lot of people like Fizz Broly. Uh, my favorite character is still Super Saiyan 3 Goku um, and Tech Broly. Them two, this game, I just love them so much, right? This, this is one of my favorite characters. Just in general, Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Super Saiyan 3 in general is one of my favorite, if not my favorite transformation. For sure, right? So, there you go. Um, and for cards that I have worked on, let's go over to the tab. These are all the cards that I worked on this previous week. Let's go from the top left to the bottom right. So, uh, B Pan, um, she is here because I have fully easy aid her finally, right? After a long, arduous process of once a week getting medals, I did it. Now, I didn't record the event of doing it because it was like a week to week thing. Sometimes I even forgot, right? Like I straight up forgot. So it actually took longer than I thought, than expected, right? And the second thing, I kind of just do it as a rotational thing, right? And I just kind of move on. I actually had, I actually got up to like 50 something medals before I realized, oh crap, I can actually awaken B-Pan. And I never recorded the video, but it's super simple and it's easy. You use the, uh, like the special like cards that come out during Halloween to do B-Pan's Easy 8. It's really easy. It's not that difficult. Um, no point in making a video of it now, right? Because I've already had the card done. Uh, but B-Pan's really good. Uh, damage reduction, all that fun stuff is, is really, really awesome, right? Uh, very powerful card, by the way. Um, still a pretty usable card as well. Uh, moving on to the next one. Oh, next time you see B-Pan will either be when I get her to SA25 for free through her third copy which I do have, which I'm currently working on. Or when she hits link level 10, which she's almost there, right? So, there you go. Uh, the next card is the Krillin and Gohan. Uh, very awesome that I pulled these guys from my Step Up banner. Uh, we'll get to that conversation in a bit, but I got these guys at the very end, which is very, very awesome. Um, Could have used them for collection of epic battles, but they're here now, so I'll just take it like that. I actually really like this card. Um, are they like top meta card? No, but they're, I think it's a fun card. For sure, absolutely, right? It's a fun card. Um, I can see them being actually not that bad. But we'll, 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 I have to use them more often. But the next time you'll see them is if and when I get more copies of them and if and when I get them to link level 10. The next three are kind of more or less the same thing. 
all these Vegetas are are link level ones across the board. Uh, none of them have multiple dupes up to Rainbow. I can just show you, right? Um, but all of them were and are ease fully easy aid. Um, so very very awesome. The next step for them is obviously link level ten Rainbow and a fifteen uh, SA on each of them, which is going to be an eventuality kind of a thing, right? There is a free-to-play tech uh, blue Vegeta that I can use from the movie, bro the, the the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie event, right? Um, that I can I can use that blue Vegeta to farm up these blue Vegetas, but only up until SA10. After that, it's Kai's, right? Uh, I might do that, and I might not. We'll see. We'll see how that all plays out, right? Uh, moving on to the next card, Pan. Pam is in a very similar situation with being a just an awakened card sa1 right but she is awakened so i have her full passive available to me and her thing is not even really to do that much damage she can do decent damage for being a support card and what she is but her primary role is to support and dodge and she does that very 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 well um and i will be putting dodge equips on her the big reason I would get her to SA10 what is to give her a silver 5 dodge. If I'm lucky enough to pull that. Or if I have one of those, right? So, that's the only reason I would get her at SA10. It's not really a damage. But it's more for the usability and adding to her passive for dodge, right? The tech androids, on the other hand, are SA10. They're fantastic. I am very happy that I pulled them. I gave them some pretty good equips. Next time you'll see them is either if I get them rainbowed or link level 10. I'm pretty sure Link Level 10 is going to come first. But again, dude, Kid Gohan, I have him rainbowed. And I think an extra dupe is, is SSR dupe, which is insane. Um, and I don't have him Link Level 10. I need to because he's actually a very favorited card of mine. Um, moving on, we got Trunks here. He's in very similar situations to the Android, uh, to the Tech Androids. He is fully awakened. He is SA10. The next time you will see him is whether or not I get him to Link Level 10 or Rainbow, right? Um, I thought about putting the stickers on them, but I'm going to wait, right? I like I want to put stickers on Link Level 10 units if I have an abundance of stickers. Or else I save them for Super Strike units. Because it looks cool. That's all that is. But these are all the characters that I worked on the previous week. Um, you may or may not see some of these return soon, depending on how my links go. I'm definitely going to work on the androids. And, you know, the bottom three, I'm definitely going to work on their links more heavily. And B-Pan might return sooner than later because her links are so close to being 10 anyways right um but the vegetas we'll see how that plays out right um but nonetheless these are all the cards that i worked on dude the vegetas took a while it's just three sub easy a's that i have to work on so i have to get in a like i have to get a lot dude the bronze and silvers took forever the rainbows and golds it's whatever right it's less than 10 runs but it's like still nonetheless they're all done so moving on from that um I can talk about a couple things. So this week, Chain Battle. Uh, Chain Battle has not been treating me very well. Um, I've been getting really bad scores. Really bad lineups and stuff. But it's a perseverance kind of a thing. Um, all I need is one really solid run. And I got it, right? Um, which all depended on my friends and stuff like that. And lineups. Even if I have the best friends of all, I still need good lineups. That's all it is. It falls down to RNG. And I hate that. But it's fine. Uh, for Ultimate Clash, I finally beat Ultimate Clash, which is fantastic. Worked out very well. That video is already out, so I can talk about it. You could definitely just skip, like, I don't know, 45 minutes of the <laughs> 45 minutes of the entire video. But I wanted to record the entire thing so people that actually want to watch it, right? My reactions towards the end were pretty nice. But if you want to go watch that, go watch that. I recommend skipping to the last, I don't know, 10-ish minutes of the video to get the best reactions, right? Um, but that, that, that is that, um, some new stuff that came out, uh, the final two stages of the, uh, what's it called? The red ribbon armies red zone has come out. So the two gammas and cell max have come out, um, a weaker quote in quotations, weaker version of the original cell max event that we got, right? Um, he is quotations easier to deal with when it comes to taking damage, um, in comparison to the other cell max, I think his gimmick is more because he does less damage. But he rotates out his types, and he can double super. I even seen him triple, but that's totally different. But nonetheless, that is on my bucket list to get all that done. Hopefully, cross my fingers, hopefully get done or up to a certain point. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about, and I think the big thing that I should talk about, 
is not this, but this. Here's a big topic that uh, this is something I need to discuss. And after this, I'm going to end it off. So one, I know for a fact, I know for a fact, thinking of what's actually left, I know for a fact I can get at least one more round, one more round of this all the way through. I know that for a fact, considering what's coming up, considering what I'm going to be doing and, and thinking about the numbers and stuff like that, I can for sure get another, what, 96 stones by the end of this, right? I'm not saying within the next week, I'm saying by the end of of the availability of this step up i can get the stones necessary to do one more full round now the question becomes whether or not i can actually do the third one no unless in a huge amounts of abundance of stones or like gohan and cells easier come out or even something like that right come out some crazy i don't i genuinely don't think i can do this the third rotation of of the third full round of the New Year Step Up Banner. Now, with that being said, I do feel that I can at least do the first two or three steps. Now, I'm going to try my hardest to get all the stones necessary, but I'm just letting y'all know that there is hopefully going to be three round videos, but there's most likely not going to be a full completion of the steps for the third round. Now, I considered buying stones. I considered... Uh, just do the login stones and stuff like that. That should be more than that should give me the little bit of an edge that I need But I decided all of that against all of that because the whole purpose of this account is to save my stones Is to play it smart and is to play what with whatever I get kind of a thing, right? So I am deciding not to basically save myself through the means of spending money um, and just and just and just facing my my failures the big reason why I failed at this is because I used 150 stones for the piccolo banner a couple days before the step up banner came out and it basically killed any possibility or any real possibility to do all three rounds that was my mistakes in the pursuit of trying to get piccolo and it was totally not worth it right if I had those extra 150 stones, I would be looking at getting the third round done, right? Instead of the second going to the third. Because I would have an extra 150 stones, I would be at 250. The second round would have already been out. And I would be working on the third round video. Um, and I, again, it would have the same conversation. I'll try to get as many stones as possible and do up until I can get that many steps done, right? But I'm just letting y'all know where my head is with this specific step up banner. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Do you think that I should <laughs> uh, at least save myself a little bit or, or give myself like a kind of a sure why not kind of a thing? Or do you think I should just stick to my guns, live with my mistakes and kind of move on and learn from the experience? Um, or should I just cop out? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of you, right? What, what do you guys think? Um, but if you made it to the end of this video, I do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace. Take care.